Hi, it's Misha again on iHeartRadio and the talk of San Diego, and I'm sitting here standing in front of Dave. Rudy. Rudy. Catling and Offshore Products. I'm representing uh, my company as well as the California Pelagic Fisheries Association. And uh, we're going to talk about what's happening in Tuna Harbor, the future of Tuna Harbor. Obviously, there'll be a panel discussion, but uh, it'll be a process to see what happens. But we have to look out for the interest of the fishermen and, and the fish buyers and the fish eating public. So, how long have you been involved with Tuna Harbor? Well, I've been in business for 40 years. <laughs> so, uh, I, I've been, I brought my boat, I started the business at Catalina Island in 1977, I moved to San Diego in 1980. I worked out of San Diego base, you know, with my boat for a number of years, and then later I became a processor, and uh, I've been working out of San Diego ever since. And I buy local seafood. I buy probably the highest volume of local seafood in San Diego. We buy sea urchins, lobster, tuna, old bar, the main things we buy. So that comes all in from Tuna Harbor. No, I actually offload. I actually offload a lot of product over at Driscoll Wharf. Over also, okay. they have a little more industrial pier over there. I see. I see. So, Tuna Harbor, you've been selected, uh, buying, perpetrating. I, I'm just concerned about what happened in the harbor. I I do actually my offloading over at Driscoll Wharf, but uh, it's important we have two locations for the fishermen and two places to offload. So what's the best thing about Tuna Harbor? What do you think is? Well, the nice thing about Tuna Harbor is downtown. It's you know people can interact. You know tourists can come by and, and see the fishermen and buy fish direct from the fishermen on the Saturday markets and uh, lots of things like that. A lot of people don't understand this is an indoor and outdoor facility. Yes. This this meaning this event tonight. Yeah. And right now. Yeah. I guess so. I, I just got here. Where's the outdoor part? <laughs> Well, the Tuna Harbor itself. Oh, yeah. Tuna Harbor's down there. Okay. Yeah. This is not Tuna Harbor right here. Uh, this is Broadway Pier. Broadway Pier. Tuna Harbor is down by the fish market, that that little basin where the commercial fishing boats tie up. That's Tuna Harbor. Ah, see? San Diego might come to Broadway Pier thinking that's Tuna Harbor. This is not Tuna Harbor right here. A couple about a half a mile uh, south of here is Tuna Harbor. Awesome. Well, thank you for talking to us on iHeartRadio to talk San Diego, Dave. And uh, we'll be in touch. We'll be running around talking to other people. Okay, i got one more thing to tell you Go about. We've got uh, tuna uh-huh. uh, from Tuna Landed in San Diego. So these are San Diego Landed tuna and uh, canned in the USA. Sweet. We don't, we don't have canneries in San Diego anymore, but we, can still, we get a canned up in Oregon because we don't have canneries here. But it is San Diego landed tuna, mm-hmm. mostly big eyed tuna and yellowfin tuna, and it's an all American product. So, so do we get one of those today? Uh, I can give you one, sure. My cats would probably love it. Oh, don't give it to your cats. Come on. <laughs> I did like tuna fish sandwiches, too. <laughs> okay. For you, love it for you. You can give your cats a Swift or maybe some of the juice or something. But. They're pickier than I am, so if they accept okay, well, it. So I have a fish market uh-huh. to sell direct to the public, Catalina Offshore. We're open seven days a week. It's 5202 Lovelock, uh, Lovelock Street, nine, over by the 8 and the 5 Freeway, mm-hmm. South Marina Boulevard. Here's a card. And please tell people they can come buy local fish, buy local seafood at Catalina Offshore, including our canned tuna. Perfect. Well, thank right. you again, and right. you take care. Okay, thanks.